vaccines and salutations placed on us. Now then, how are we all doing? Uh, well, we had a week off. Yeah, yeah thanks to poor schedule. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it's fair, there's no we can... No, we can't, can't have a five week month, can we? What we're going to do have one single week about God of War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now PS Plus or Minus is back and uh, we have the announcement. Yeah, so, finally. <laughs> for those players down us that are joining us for the first time, this is where we go over our initial views of the games yeah. without actually playing them. And um, this month we've played none of the games. No. <laughs> so this, is, this isn't a review, this isn't uh, what we think on it, this is our first impressions what we think is going to be a plus or a minus month, yeah. and then at the end of the month when we've played and reviewed them all, we look back and see if we were right or not. Yep. <laughs> uh, so the announcement, the games this month are NBA 2K16 on no. PS4. That's a big one. They've been asking for a triple A title. Yep. <laughs> there, there you go. Um, Gone Home on PS4, yep. which seems to have the internet very excited for. Uh, Echo Crow on PS3. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, uh, Siren Blood Curse on PS3. That's got a lot of people excited as well by yeah. the sounds of it. Um, Little Deviants on the Vita. Yeah. And God of War Chains of Olympus. Again, God of War again. Two months in a row we've got yeah. God of War. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, on the front of it, that looks like a pretty good month. Yeah. I mean, uh, you've, you've got your big AAA title, uh, an episodic content horror game on PS3. An exploratory adventure on PS4, we've gone home. Yeah. Um, a couple of puzzlers and God of War. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it looks looks like a good month. But yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into taking it apart bit by yeah. bit because we've kind of changed the format a little bit now because I want to put a monetary value on PS Plus as well. Yeah. Each month. So, um, start off with a big one that's got everybody talking, which is NBA 2K16. Yeah. Which, as of this moment, if you get it before the 7th of June, when it comes to PS Plus, it will cost you £54.99. That's a big one to be giving away for nothing. <laughs> well, because it's 40 quid for your subscription for a year, you have 15 quid up already. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, know, uh, yeah. you know, there's all this argument about, well, I don't, I don't I have to pay 40 quid for these games so they're not free. Well, if you're classing you're paying 40 quid a year for these games, then your online play is free. Yeah. If you pay, well, I pay 40 quid a year for online, but yeah. these games are free, then aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> To where you lock it is tomatoes or tomatoes, but either way, 55 quid game. Yeah. Um, it's a triple A title they would have been after. Is it suitable? What do you mean for the UK European market? Yeah. Yeah, I, we don't have the big basketball following over here. I mean, it, it, it would be big in 90s for a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, um, with the Air Jordans and stuff like that. Yeah. But I just don't, I don't know if it's. Like in America, they'll be going apeshit in America for this. They'll, yeah. they'll be loving it. But over here, I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe it might be pick up, be good for a few weeks, and then put it down again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, more of a, you know, it's the kind of thing. NBA probably sells loads in America. FIFA, not so much. P probably, yeah. No, obviously, I mean, we're on. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's great. I don't be knocking. I'm not knocking a triple A title giveaway. No. It's a triple A title giving it. That's that's brilliant. But it's. Know your market. Know your market, know your area. Oh, yeah. is, is it a case of know your market? It hasn't sold over here. Yeah. It hasn't sold, it's not gonna sell. Give it away, make PS Plus look. You know, we'll give a triple A title on PS Plus, shut up the haters, but yeah. we'll give away a triple A title that doesn't sell. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> point. I mean, um, graphically though, it looks amazing. It does, yeah. And uh, one of the comments I've seen on it is uh, it puts the presentation that you get on FIFA to shame. Yeah, I've, I've read that. It just. Yeah. If, if, like I say, it's, it's a game that's not going to sell well in the UK market, if people start loving this and be looking at FIFA going, why why can't we have this in our games? Yeah. Why 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 yeah. do we get this level of quality when America <laughs> exactly. gets that? You know, yeah. um, and in terms of content, it's a vast wealth of game modes in it. Yeah, well, uh, 2K I know for doing this with the sports sims. I mean, I, I get all the WWE 2K games, so they do have quite a varied amount of game modes and this one looks as though it's carrying on the suit. Yeah, I mean if you've got your career mode, you've got yeah. your general manager mode, which I'm assuming is kind of like yeah, that pseudo-esque half football management sim on FIFA. Yeah. Um, uh, story mode, which is written by Spike Lee. Right. <laughs> um, you've got your online verses and stuff like that. Um, I think there's some up with the verses online. You play, you play online, you can be promoted and relegated. Yeah. Playing online and stuff. Um, there's another one, one review I saw, I didn't really go into much, but there's some 
uh, your own virtual currency to buy cards, which I'm assuming is like your fee for ultimate team. Yeah, fee for ultimate like team and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so there's plenty of different ways to play it. Yeah. Um, you can't argue on content, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, thing is, I'm not sure how much of an in-depth knowledge you'll need. Yeah. Uh, well, some of the things I've seen, uh, it's like you need to know your players and that, and because uh, as a point will come to later, the day I learned. Yeah. And can adapt to your if you're constantly running the same drill over and over and over again. So you need to know your players and be able to mix it up. Yeah, I mean the review. One of the reviews I watched was saying that um, you know the the pitch and roll has been improved this year. Yeah. And, and the, the screens are better. Yeah. I'm like, I've no idea what. Yeah. Any of that means. But, <laughs> you know. Then again, I suppose if to give us FIFA 16, there'd be people in America going, but three, yeah. four, four, two. What do you mean? Yeah. It, an offside rule, what, eh? What are you going to You know. The thing is, our games are usually different to there, so you could sort of like give, give America an NBA 2K16 and us FIFA 16. Well, yeah, you could do, but. Or maybe, or maybe a way around, sort of like, yeah, we'll get you interested in football over here, and we'll get you interested in basketball, basketball over there, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just. It's one of those. Am, am I going to have to bone up on basketball to yeah to understand to be able to play general manager mode? Maybe. I mean, the only person I know is Kobe Bryant. <laughs> and I'm for beating up his missus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a wealth of basketball manager. You know, yeah. the, you know the wife beaters, but no else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just thinking like you know you play play stuff like football manager. Yeah. Or FIFA, you know, you know, you play for mind you, you have your four four two formation that you know it's my my favourite. But then you know, you sit your locker, you're playing against such such a team, you switch to a five four one, or you switch, yeah, you know, you, you switch it up or change it round. But I won't have a clue what to do in this. No, me either. Um, it's like get the ball in the hole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> get it in that basket. But, yeah, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, they like said earlier, the part the the AI learns from you. Yeah. So that's. That's going to be interesting because like, I'm going to, oh yeah, I'll run down there and I'll do that. Yeah. I scored. Yeah. Let's keep doing that, you know, three, number three runs at that. Yeah. AI's covered me. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine when I used to play, uh, play NBA Jam. So like, you just take it in that car and jump up and it's like, boom, three points every time. Yeah. Just <laughs> you can't do that. Can't do that, yeah. <laughs> that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's... Gonna be interesting. It looks, it looks amazing. It's a type yeah. of game I'd never play. Which is, this is why I love PS Plus. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mentioned in one of my notes, and you've not transferred it over, but uh, this is, this will be the first basketball game I've played since NBA Jam, which is '96, I believe. Think. So 20 years since I played a basketball game. But my last one, Space Jam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mega Drive. I think yeah. it went on Snes. <laughs> Snes it well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it might have been on both. It were a license. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's. It's one of those that I think it's, it's this is why I love PS Plus because yeah. this is a game. It's a fifty four ninety nine uh, fifty four ninety nine game triple A title that I would never buy. No, <laughs> I'd never even look at it. Never be interested in playing it. But I got it for free. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably sink a few hours into this. Yeah. I'll give it a good go. Well, <laughs> you know. Um, but going back to the thing of having no knowledge <laughs> um, and no one understanding formations or drills yeah. or <laughs> tactics or strategy. Yeah. Um, you have seven days to learn them. <laughs> <laughs> we are giving you a seven day warning. Yes. Um, these games will be available on the 7th of June. What's happening on the 14th of June? Stuff will present its first ever tournament. Yep. Live tournament, 8pm, NBA 2K16. If you want to be part of that, head over to the Stuff will present Facebook page. Yep. Uh, you'll find our event and sign up for it. Um, so you come into the event and then message the page. Just yep. use Facebook Messenger. Um, message the page saying with your username. Yeah. And then Breno here is going to start out the tournament and you'll get a message saying who you're playing. And yeah, I'm going to make the draw and uh, all the information will be on the Facebook page and I'll message everybody individually as well. Yeah. So. There's three prizes up for grabs. Yeah. Uh, they're all mentioned on the Facebook page, so I'm not going to mention them here. <laughs> you have to go find them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Stoffel presents on Facebook. Yeah, and join, join the welcome come join. It's just it's a fun way. We figured that we're going to do this once a month from now on. Yeah, as long as we're getting multiplayer games. Yes, we're going to get a multiplayer function. Yeah, we're going to create some kind of online event and you know meet new gamers, meet new friends, have a laugh. It's yeah. yeah I think it's interesting. It'd be a good yeah. fun way to do it. Um, uh, and you know, if you get drawn against me, it's probably going to be easy if you've been watching us uh, videos. <laughs> it's been watching our Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tabletop racing is uh, Drift King Devon away the legend. Yeah. Can Drift be cat driving straight lines? <laughs> 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 I, th 
going to change your name to Chris and Dad lost Devro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that? Truth hurts, bitch. <laughs> But yeah, so that's, that's, that's one game we're looking forward to, because yeah. um, it's different, it's not something we normally play, and we get the chance to, to meet you guys and play with you guys. Yeah. You know, head over Facebook, sign up to the event, meet new friends, meet new people, have a good laugh. Yeah. You know, and, you know, if you get drawn against me, you will be on Twitch. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Um, I'm looking forward to that, and I think that one is a plus. It's looking like a plus, at first glance. Yeah, first yeah. glance it's looking like a plus, that it's... Uh, it looks good, it looks amazing. Plenty of playability in it. Yeah. Um good for multiplayer laugh, like I say, none of us none of us know anything about basketball, well the lads that are signed up, none of us know anything about basketball, <laughs> no. we don't know anything about it. Yeah. We've got seven days to get used to controls. Yes. <laughs> Apart from Murder Doll, who only has two. <laughs> yeah. On holiday. yeah. Um, I might stand a chance. <laughs> but then he did mention a team like I can't be putting such I can't be letting such and such be shamed. But yeah. like, you know basketball we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's a that's a tentative plus. Yeah. I think. Um, moving on? Yep, yeah, uh, Gone Home, uh, which if you got PS Store now is available for £6.49. Mm -hmm. Not a bad price for a no. PS Plus game. Yeah, it's, it, it's been out a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 2008? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's an explorative exploration adventure. Uh, yeah, it's kind of first person searching through your house. Yeah. I mean, it's quite hard to find much about this game. I know, yeah. Uh, all, all reviews are really vague, you know, because it, it's very story centric, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, from what I can gather, there's, it's a first person view, and you're the only person, well, you're the only person in the game. Yeah. There's nobody else to interact with or anything. No. You know, um, I think you've gone to college or something, and you've come back to your house. Yeah. And you're searching for your family home. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the things I've read is that it, it seems it's one of the most realistic environments. Within a game, yeah. Um, yeah. One, of, one of the reviews I saw said it's it's kind of the the family feel, yeah. like a family. The stuff, the little notes that you read, yeah, um, look like they're being wrote by mum. Your sister's diary looks like it's being written by a rebellious teenager. Uh, yeah, it's really immersive. But every interview is being v intentionally vague, yeah, because the storytelling is so amazing. Apparently that they don't yeah. want to they don't want to give out away or ruin it. <laughs> um, so. That's a game we know very little about. Yeah, no, no, yeah that, that's, that's going to be a wait and see, isn't it, really? <laughs> but from everything, it's getting 9.5s all across the board everywhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull that down as a plus. Yeah. If it's getting a Metacritic, Metacritic score at 9.5, then... Yeah, it's, it's, I'm excited to play it. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, single person, exploration, adventure. Yeah. Kind of... I've been crying out for something really immersive to grab me. And... Yeah, it's... I think so that could be it. this one's it. I mean that's two plus two, two initial pluses for PS4 this month. Yeah. Uh, good month PS4. Um, you had a good month on PS3 last month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we start off with Echo Crow. Yeah, we'll go with Echo Crow. I mean, uh, it's a puzzler. Uh, it's very dimensional. Uses a lot of lateral thinking. Uh, you basically rotate. An object round to be able to pass through the level. Uh, it, it looks very uh, MC Escher. Yeah, I put this yeah. down. I'm like, is it, is it MC Escher? You went, yeah. I don't know. What, what I knew you were about that one. Yeah, yeah. Nice, um, but yeah it's yeah. kind of you've seen those optical illusion on Facebook where it's yeah. oh, how many logs and there's four logs, but some people look at three logs. And yeah, you, and it's kind of that where it's you know you turn the level. You've got yeah. it's not you can see you've got one piece, uh, two pieces, but if you rotate it, they become yeah. they become joined, and your guy can walk across yeah. it and. Um, I mean, you're all, you're all geeks watching this, so you've obviously seen Labyrinth with David Bowie going up down yeah, the stairs at, it's, it's at the end. Pretty much kind of yeah. that optical illusion type stuff. Yeah. Um, and also that if you <coughs> if you're walking on a path and there's a hole there, yeah. If you rotate the level so you can't see the hole, it's not there. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. It's going to take a lot of brain power to to do and work through. Yeah. Um, I have actually played this before. Yeah, you were saying on the day when I was explaining it yeah. to you. I mean, at the moment, this is three ninety nine on PSN store. I forgot to mention yeah. that. It's three ninety nine at the moment, and um, I'm positive, absolutely positive, that um, back in the days when PlayStation three had PS Home, yeah, and the interactive used to go, people remember it used to go and go bowling and stuff like that. Yeah, 
and play pool. But down the corner of the ball, there was arcade machines where you could yeah. play Icebreaker and stuff like that. Echo Chrome was on there. Yeah. I remember playing Echo Chrome on there, and it's it's not bad. It's all right. Yeah. It's not. Never really gripped me though. Um, but again, I don't know. Maybe if I give it more times a full, I don't know if that was a full game or not. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, you essentially get a white it, mannequin type stick figure. Yeah. And you've got to click the shadows on each side. There'll be like two, maybe three or more shadows on a level. Yeah. And all you can do is walk or stand. Yeah. And then you can turn to walk, turn to stand, and you rotate the level. That's right. the entire controls. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's one of them. It, it, it looks. It looks very basic. I mean, it, it's just basically the levels are drawn in black lines. And it looks like it's been the stick map. It looks like it's been made on MS Paint. Yeah. <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, it could have done. It could have been made on MS Paint. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks very. Or any other paint programs out there, <laughs> not just MS. No, 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 it looks really shit. It's yeah. MS Paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm not sure about this one. I've played. I'm pretty sure I've played it on PS. I'm positive I played it on PS Home. Yeah. Back on the PS3, and I'm going to put this down as a minus. I think I'm putting it down as a minus as well. It didn't. It, it don't look. They don't look enough there to actually grip me in. No, it, it look. It looks more like one of those. More like one of those tech demos you see on a. Yeah. BBC technology documentary, like yeah. <laughs> Click or Tomorrow's World or something. Yeah. You know, they're, they're working on this brand new computer, and this is what they were. And you see someone with a little thing going, yeah. little archetype design thing going. <laughs> it looks like that. It looks yeah. Like a, yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not impressed by that. No. Um, uh, when I am impressed, though, it, it, it looks like his Siren Blood Curse. Yeah, this is 10 99 on PlayStation Store. Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, 2008 adaptation. It's. Uh, Episodic content, you get uh, all 12 episodes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, each episode is kind of like 12 from a different per. I think there's 10 characters. Yeah. And it's... you switch between the characters. I mean, it, it makes me feel like I'm reading the Game of Thrones, but. Yeah, you know, chapter, chapter yeah. each character. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this was, like I say, it's back in 2008 this came out. So this was one of the first games to employ episodic content. Yeah. Um, so, um, kind of. Groundbreaking in that way, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and it's very. I mean, looking at the gameplay and stuff. Well, not the gameplay, but the, the reviews and stuff. Seen it, some of the gameplay footage. It's a uh, looks very kind of Blair Witch. Yeah. Meets old school Resident yeah. Evil. I mean, basically, all I know about the story is uh, an American film production crew go over to uh, some abandoned village in Japan to film a documentary there and shit goes down as it yeah. as it tends to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's not I've got it's not an A to B plot, we'd actually know the plot. Yeah. But like say so you've got ten characters I think it is it says. Yeah. So kind of you're not level one level two you kind of maybe like no episode eleven. Yeah. Fight we meet up and then possibly yeah. Um so I don't I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. Um and there's some great I mean, the emphasis on this is on stealth, not killing zombies. Yeah. Um, I mean, this does exactly what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Survival horror. Yeah, not, it is. Not I just mean, run around with your magnum and your shotgun and your big Uzi and just no, go down I, there's, zombies. There's a ton of melee weapons, so you get shovels and guitars and, yeah. and crowbars. But then there's... Can't wait to run around like Jeff Jarrett with a guitar. <laughs> but there's a... Slap nut! There's one level where you play a small girl in, in, in a zombie-infected hospital. Yeah. And all you've got is a flashlight. Yeah. No weapons at all. And if you haven't got a weapon, you can't you can't kill zombies. No. <laughs> um, so it's yeah, I like that kind of yeah. No, this this isn't a zombie bloodbath. This yeah. is here's a torch. You're an eight year old girl. Get yourself out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we, we, we've said the emphasis on stealth. I mean, you can see through the enemy's eyes. That's one of the features. Uh, all the characters have got this psychic gift. Yeah. Where you I mean, got split screen. You can see. What you're doing on this side and what the enemy's doing on this side. Yeah, so you can plan your, your routes, which I think that's, that's quite a cool. I don't think I've seen that before. No. That's quite I mean, cool, you know, which way is he going, what's he looking at? Yeah. And, and then you've also got like some kind of spidey sense. Yeah. When an enemy's nearby, you get these like red and blue blurs around your, yeah. around your screen, so you can kind of figure out where they are and how to avoid them. Yeah. Um, this looks really good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into this. Yeah, one. I'm excited for this one. So this is, I think this is another plus. Another plus, yeah. Um, so what? Well, it's three, three for one with a yeah. minute to go. Yeah. 
Um, up next on the meter, Little Deviants. Yep. Uh, this is six ninety nine. Six ninety nine on PSN at the moment. And um, this this is a weird one. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of mini mini game puzzlers, isn't it? Yeah, and it it looks vibrant and really colourful. And yeah, really nice. Mine, you know, it looks it looks like you want to play it. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't use any buttons. No. Um, it, no button presses in it whatsoever. Yeah. You you've got the camera, uh, the tilt, uh, the touchpad at the back, touchscreen on the front. Yeah, it's it's basically it's kind of. Tech demo mode game. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of this is what the Vita can do. Because yeah. I think I couldn't quite, quite find a release date for it, but I think it's kind of when the Vita first came out. Yeah. It's like, look, this is what it can do. So instead of using the buttons, we have we have tilt and it. Yeah. Um, it has a story mode which includes about thirty mini games. Yeah. And some of those games are AR. So like, there's um, one of them's a shooter. Yeah. And you you point it around, you turn it three sixty, and seeing your, your yeah. living room by through your camera and your Shooting things on that are yeah. flying about over the room, so that, that's you know, it looks. It doesn't really sound fun. like something you can play on bus or train now, does it? No, <laughs> you know, being on bus like yeah. <laughs> just taking an old woman out. Sorry, there was something flying at me over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see you play it on a bus. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, some of the obviously we haven't seen all the mini games, but yeah. some of them. What I'm not seeing is sort of where, where you use a touchpad underneath and you've got to make hills to steer a marble around a Yeah, that looked yeah. really, really interesting. Yeah. Being just kind of running your finger on the back and the way of your finger goes it creates a hill to yeah. that that looks really interesting. It's, it looks fun. Yeah. Um I'm not expecting deep immersive gameplay. No. Or story. <laughs> Apparently there's a there is a story to it but it's it's quite long winded and <laughs> don't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's just it's thirty mini games put together to show the functionality of the Vita. Yeah. Seems like a Vita WarioWare sort of thing, don't yeah, it? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put this up as a plus. I think yeah. some of, you know you've smashed a couple of hours into Siren's Bug Curse. It's, yeah, gets when any survival horror game it can get quite weighty and you know you keep <laughs> yeah. dying at the same point. You're getting frustrated. Turn that off. Pick up little deviants. Ooh, colourful, fun, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just cheap and cheerful. Yeah, gaming. Um, top of that down as a plus. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go plus with that as well. Um, and then lastly, uh, well, if you joined, the, if you're a regular viewer, and you saw us last month, yeah, we did God of War, uh, Ghost of Sparta, Ghost of Sparta. Uh, and if you're a new viewer, it's God of War: Chains of Olympus. Go back watch last month's episode. That's probably it's, the review you're going to get. It's God of War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I've only got two points for this, yeah. to be fair, because God of War are hard to review unless you, you know, you've got to complete the game to review it in depth, or it's God of War, it's, yeah. it's a one seal game, it's yeah. exactly where it says on the tin, you know, you, you buy God of War because you expect a certain type of game from it, yeah. and you know you're going to get that, yeah. it's, it's like buying FIFA, you know, FIFA, COD, uh, the Arkham games, yeah, you know what you're going to get, Yeah. Um, you're buying it for the story. And to be honest, this is a prequel to God of War One. Yeah, which makes me think Sony have messed up this month. Yeah, <laughs> should well, we have had it the other way around. Yeah, because yeah. this month we're getting the sequel to God of War One. Yeah, in terms of Olympus, but last month we got the game in between One and Two. Yeah, I think CW execs gone over to do the scheduling. For yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like should they give us a prequel last month and then? Yeah. Essentially, it was 1.5 this month. Yeah. To continue the story that we fit. No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's 6.49 at the moment on the PlayStation Store. Yeah, which is good value for any God of War game, no matter how old it is. Yeah, great <laughs> value. I mean, again, like uh, Ghost of Sparta, this is a PSP, uh, bleh, PSP port. Yeah. Um, but Ghost of Sparta looks sweet. Yeah. They, they, they look brilliant. <laughs> um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So, yeah. It's God of War. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's a plus in it. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like 5 1 on first impression. 5 1? Yeah. Could Echo Chrome surprise us and make it a, a slam dunk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll see what you did there. Oh, I'll get it in. Get it in. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, for those, the reason we put the price on this month as well is because when we look at the games and stuff, you know, especially if like um, stuff like PlayStation blog and yeah. um, other gaming websites and uh, gaming 
pages on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. They announce the games and it just gets a lot of vitriol hate. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, well, we got this and we got that. You know, it's, a, it's a shit month, it's a shit month for gaming. Oh, why do I pay my subscription for? I'm cancelling my next month. Oh, I'm so glad I've not renewed mine. Why have <laughs> we got Uncharted 4? <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, we've gone through how much each game costs. So, PS Plus costs you 40 quid a year. Yeah. Um, I think six. £1.49 a month or something, or £6.99 a month. I think it's six quid a month now. Is it six quid a month now? Yeah. Right? I don't know, I don't, I pay, we pay the yearly subscription, don't we? Yeah. But let's say you get six. You get it this month. It's six quid for this month. Yeah. That's £89.85 worth of games this month. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you, you, you're pretty much 84 quid up. Yeah, if, if, you, if you're waiting for, if you've been waiting for NBA 2K16 to drop to 30 quid or something. Yeah. Go pay 40 quid. Yeah. Go get a PS Plus for you yeah, get 40 quid, you've got NBA and 5 other people, well, depending if you've got the systems, 5 other games, but even so, if you haven't got the system, you've got a PS4. Yeah. Go pay 40 quid for your subscription instead of buying NBA. You get the game, and then you're going to get two PS, I'm going home, and two PS4 games a month for the next 11 months. Yeah. It, I don't see, I can't stand anyone's argument that PS Plus is a waste of money. No. <laughs> it's, you know, yeah, it has good months, it has bad months. Um, we've had pops at it over the PS3. Yeah. Um, but that, again, that's not these, like these people online that are asking for triple A's every month. It's because yeah. you've got an extensive backlog that's not for sale anymore. Yeah. On a console that's dying. Yeah. You know, and you're yeah. putting stuff out like um, you had last month. Yeah. Loco Roco Cockroach. You know, there's no. You do that again, I'm going to come slap you. I think Echo Chrome could be the same, yeah. same vein as Loco Roco. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got stuff like, why are you not putting out Grand Theft Auto 2 or. Yeah. You know, that game's not selling. Well, I don't know, it's not the remastered on the I don't know. But yeah. yeah. But you could put other stuff out. You could su such a wide range of games that you can put exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. We, 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 we say it pretty much every week, yeah. don't we? <laughs> um, I'll kill the PS3 games off and put PlayStation now on there as part of subscription. Yeah. I'd put an extra 20 quid a year if you're going to put a PS yeah. no subscription on it. But, yeah. I mean, but all in all, five. Five pluses, one minus, what month? Yeah, on first impression, so it's looking pretty good. I think it's the best month we've had so far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think, Playstyle play is. Do, yeah. you know? Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, these are, again, these are only first impressions. Yeah. yeah. We haven't, apart from Echo Chrome, which I'm pretty yeah. sure I've played, I've yeah. not played any of these. Um, probably, I, I know I definitely haven't played God of War, but I probably have played it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've played other God of War games, probably played this one. Yeah. Um, I've not played any of them, so. But yeah, I mean, well, no, what I mean by that is I've played Ghost of Sparta, it means I've played Chains of Oh, Olympus. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I've not played any of these games. I mean, I, I couldn't even bother with home. It meant interacting with other people. And so. <laughs> it was a way to play bowling and stuff with my son. Yeah. <laughs> he were at his, he yeah. his mum's, I were at mine. Yeah. We played bowling together. My kids weren't old enough to game, so yeah. I'm like, um, fuck it. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think, Playstyle us. Yeah. Is, do you, again, yeah. remember these were on initial views, but. Do you think it's a good one? Are you one of those that believes PS Plus is a, is a good value for money? Yeah. Or are you a deluded internet troll who thinks it's a part of shite? <laughs> <laughs> you know, either type an erudite answer telling us why, why you agree with us, or yeah. just punch the keyboard until words appear to vent your anger and frustration. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I think we best end it there. Yeah, uh, don't forget to go to our website. Uh, yeah, stoffelpresents.wix.com forward slash home. Yep, yeah, find all our social media buttons in there, including the important Facebook one this month for the NBA, K, NBA 2K tournament and also Patreon. Yep, yeah, on Patreon you can donate and help us create be better content with better equipment. Yeah. And, you know, if you enjoy these videos, donate and we'll make them better. We'll yeah. be buy better mics and stuff like that and more yeah. stage dressing. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Yeah, always subscribe and like, that's important. Yeah. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. See you later.